we're finally here. So before we start, I wanted to show you something special. This is our cemetery. It's an old cemetery. Graves in the 1800s. There's about 30, three dozen or so graves here, maybe more. We should do a count if we could find them all. But there's a lot really, of unmarked graves. Really big cedar trees, and some are marked graves, some are unmarked graves. But it's a nice little hike up here. Definitely looks a lot different now that the leaves have fallen off the trees. But this is by far one of our most favorite areas on the property. It's nice to just walk up here and I don't know, be quiet and gather your thoughts and listen to just the sounds of nature. Yeah, if you're going to be buried somewhere, this, you know, this wouldn't be a bad choice. We purposely decided not to run the driveway over this way, just out of respect for yeah, there is the a people who are here. That would make it easier because there is a trail that comes up here from the bottom. But I don't want it anywhere near there because it's just, this should be kept quiet and private. If I was buried here, I wouldn't want, you know, a driveway with cars driving by all the time, regardless if it's just us or somebody else. So we're going to keep it like this. We're going to take care of this place. And uh, yeah, I like how it changes throughout the year. Yeah. Just wanted to share it with you. So we're here. We made it we're to here. the property. Finally. It's been a long... Two months. It's almost two well, months to we've the been day. At the, we closed on the 27th we've of been August. At, we've been at the campground since May. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> May, April, end of April, something like that. And uh, so we finally, finally made it. We pulled up our camper and... Um, it was a little trying. Yeah, it was, it was difficult to get the camper in position where we want it. Oh. My, I have a strong truck, but the tires aren't great on it right now. I have to replace them. I didn't know if I was going to get a new truck or not, but it's rear-wheel drive and it doesn't have four-wheel drive. And that camper is about five tons. So it was quite a task, but the, the Hemi, as I call her, did a great job. Um, what else? What do you think, Papa? Well, I think they're pretty good. I, I, I don't know what you want to build around this. We left the paint key. Look at this. It went the whole way. That was a How did that not fall? I think we need... I think we need... John, the paint key stayed there the whole time. <laughs> I think we needed to have more objects in the way. Believe that? That went way too smoothly. Right. Before we hit that big trailer truck, the one that had the flatbed. Yeah. What did we have? We had a dump truck going down. Oh yeah. There was a lot of. Right here. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. 
What's that? What he wants to do a fire pit right there. Yeah, well, this is what I, I mean. You want to plan out what you want just sort of generally. Yeah. While you have this thing hooked up. Autumn, what do you think? I love it. Fire, fire, fire. What do you think, okay. Nana? It's okay. great. Things could have shifted around. I don't want you getting hurt. Hold on. An adult has to go in first. All right. We're here. So, Dad, tell me, tell me about the socks. So the bugs don't go up your pants. Yeah, no chickers. That's that's the way to do it. Not like last time when they fit. Hey, hey, can everybody? Yes, your truck did a good job. Girl. You're the one who doubted it. <laughs> a couple tries, but I figured it would. <sighs> Considering how bald these tires are, I'm impressed. Well, now we gotta level it all off. As we got here, we still needed to get our approval for the electric to be installed. And we needed the camper here because the inspection needed to come and look how the camper was connected to the waste pipe and how it was connected to the ground with earth ties. So there's no way to do that without the actual camper here. So we had to rough it for, what, about five days with no electricity. We were just kind of running off a generator once in a while. And it was it wasn't bad. It, it was kind of annoying because the well and everything, it was working with the pressure tank, but you had to fire up the generator to pressurize the pressure tank to have water. And if you wanted to take a shower, you had to leave the, the uh, generator running. Um, it, we survived. It, it was fine. Yeah, it was. We wanted some shade by the camper. And we felt like, remember when we said this was a big art project? Yeah. We st we're artists and we wanted to play. So we made a fire pit and some benches. We can't help ourselves. It's just, you know. And then we felt like it needed a tree. So we went and found a tree. Yeah, it, it's hard to resist all these things. It's like, yeah, that doesn't take priority, but we can't help ourselves we're, we're builders we see something that could look better or function better or just make us feel better and we just we have to do it as artists and then it we have a plan to do a fire pit we had a fire last night our first night here and we want to do a fire we're going to move it a little bit to like where those rocks are so we're going to work on that today and cleaning up around here that we need more shade by the camper and our new fire pit. So we found a tree we're gonna dig up and replant. And we had a lot to choose from, but I think we finally narrowed down over here. This is what we call Pine Trail. The girls named this. This is where they hang out all the time. they made a little trail it goes through to over to their swing they're always playing over here and we are we really liked this tree here but the power lines are right there and the electric company just recently came through they macheted this and then they put something that's going to kill that tree so we can't do that. We can't do that one. We can't do that one. They are that one, that one. They macheted all of those and put some kind of chemical in it that's going to kill the tree. So we were thinking maybe these two, but then we found, which one do we want to do? This one. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here because we think maybe next time they'll probably kill that one. And it has a good shape to it, and I think that'll be a good one. Or did we choose that one? I don't remember now. This one. It's this one. 
Oh, that one is more substantial. I don't know. Gotta get the tractor back here first. Ladies and gentlemen, cue the heavy metal music. <laughs> tractor my dad named the judge because he said we couldn't name it Big Red but that was the name of Secretariat and Secretariat's other name was the judge so he named it the judge almost time for inspection and we need to get back to work yeah <laughs> and we worked on getting grounding rods in and hooking up the meter uh, the meter and all the electric lines to that john ended up working into the night yes guess we should have guess we should have put off doing the fire pit but john worked into the night with a headlamp and was able to finish everything go ahead Good one, Mike. Get the wire out of the way. Thank you. You were waiting for me to do that, weren't you? Yep. What are we doing, Mike? 
digging here. a little ditch. It's just a dig instead of a ditch. This is gonna go from grounding rod to grounding rod right there. Oh, it's just six feet, but I have to do it by hand and this ground is really hard. Really, really hard. And John's gonna wire up the box. These are the last two things. These are the last two things that we have to do before the inspector comes. To My first job here hooking up the electric box. We're gonna go from there. We're gonna come up here through this knockout, three quarter inch knockout. We have this bare copper number four gauge, solid copper. And it's gonna come up in through this little service guy. And I believe this is where we ground our meter. Right there, that little guy. That's the service ground. This is the grounding lug. So that's the first task. Here we go. All right, today what we're doing is installing these earth straps. They go from the frame, which is essentially an I-beam, and you're about a one inch or an inch and a half metal straps, and they go down to these earth ties. They go to these earth ties and they go through this bolt that has a slit in it, and then this bolt has an area to set inside of these square holes. Ratchet them down and they tie down your camper. It's supposed to be for a mobile home, which I guess where we are in Virginia, they consider an RV a mobile home if you're gonna use it as a residence, which we are for about a year. So here's the straps. This is what they look like. It's how I bought them locally. So that clips your frame and then you use as much strap as you need. Let's grab one of these and what else? Check out our new fire pit. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna be, we got the earth tie in and we did these by hand. <laughs> that was a workout. I was quite tired yesterday. All right, so I'm gonna install it, the bolt through here and the nut on this side. Let me show you what the bolt looks like. Okay, it's got a slit in there and it sets here. That's a one inch head. Inspector came. Okay, uh, I got three main circuits. It's basically infrastructure. One is going to this outlet for the RV. That's a 120 volt, 30 amp. That one down there is. The inspector is here. I'm surprised he doesn't have like a clipboard or something. He's looking at the electrical panel and how John did all of his wiring. I was expecting a clipboard. John, you look sad. I'm not sad. I guess the weight's been lifted. We passed? Yeah, we passed. We got a green sticker. <gasps> Yay, a green sticker! We got a green sticker. Hey girls, guess what? We get electricity tomorrow. Girls, shoes, you have to wear shoes. We get electricity tomorrow. 
Look, he gave me a pretty green sticker. <laughs> we passed! Guys, everything I did was right. He looked at my electricity, so that's good. All that stress, John. You okay? I guess I know what I'm doing. Hey! I told you not to worry. Hey, I passed my first ever... That That's big. I have to say, I'm proud of myself. You're gonna have a lot of daddy. inspections. Hi, Give me high fives. I installed a meter and breaker combo that gets hooked up to the electricity to code. And, and what did he say about the tie downs and stuff? He looked at them and said they're good. I showed him Great. the plumbing. And the plumbing he said was good? <laughs> yeah, he goes, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. This is our plumbing we installed. Yay! Good job, John. I'm excited. Electric came on Wednesday, and they were here a majority of the day. They had to replace the pole, and we didn't get too much of that on video. They preferred that we not have video of that, so that was no problem. It was a long process and probably not that interesting anyway. Girls. But the electric Don't take a shower under the tree. Don't shake the tree branches, okay? You're gonna get soaked and have to change your clothes. You should see what they're doing. The electric is installed now. Everything's working. So phase one of our big project is complete. Phase one was getting here and we're here and we're literally tied to the ground, so we're not going anywhere. <laughs> it feels kind of odd to not have the pressure of something right now. We're just kind of chilling out, and it's good because it's a rainy day. It's a good day to just hang out. And... I laid in bed till 9.30 this morning. It was like a weight you was deserved just it. lifted, and it was fantastic. There they go, our power company. And our power friend. There he goes, down the road. Yeah, they're good guys. It's a rainy day. Here comes the rain just in time. I'm ready to go flip the switch or plug it in and flip the switch. There we go. There's that one. That goes into the yard. Are these inside? We got thumbs up. I see the coffee maker. Let's run over there. Hey, do we have power? We got it. Clara, we got it. Autumn, <laughs> we did it. We had two questions that came up and we wanted to answer. One was, what are we doing about laundry? Our RV is not equipped with laundry. We plan on putting a washer and dryer in the shed once it's built. And we're thinking temporarily, well, tomorrow I'm going to the camp, back to the campground to do a whole bunch of laundry to get us through a few more weeks. But we're hoping to get a washer and dryer and set them up outside temporarily until the shed is built and then they will be in the shed. So that's kind of where that stands right now. It's a little bit of a one challenge that we have. And the second question we were asked was from our nephew Owen, and he said, where are Autumn and Clara? Oh, there they are. <laughs> hey, what's up girls? Yeah. Here they are, Owen. Don't worry. They're here, Owen. In fact, the girls are always somewhat close by to us within earshot, usually. That's why you usually hear screaming and such in the background in our videos, because they're usually in what they call pine trail. Well, let them say this. Girls, what are you doing when mommy and daddy are working? Pine, pine trail. trail. I'm screaming because I'm fishing her too hard. <laughs> well, I'm usually screaming, telling you to take it easy on Autumn. But, um, yeah, what do you guys do? What What do you like to have fun with on the property? What do you do? I I like I like to use my imagination. Okay, how about you, Clara? I like to go find stuff in pine trail and pretend to cook them. Okay, and you like the swing? What else are we gonna do? We're gonna build a uh, clubhouse soon yeah. near the camper and a tree house. 
maybe get some uh, new boots for you guys. Those lasted three weeks. And Autumn, big news with Autumn. Give me a big smile. Autumn lost the tooth. Let me see. Show your teeth. Which one? Which on one? On the bottom. Yeah, Autumn lost the tooth on the bottom. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Happy Halloween. Oh boy. I'll break this bucket. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> Told you. It's just not worth it. You might as well just do little chicken taps. Chicken taps. <laughs> See? Like this. Hey, it still works. It's just more effort. Yeah. Although it's not as dangerous. Alright, Meg, you'll do the rest. Oh boy. I'm bored. You're bored. <laughs>